Hi, this is Jean, and welcome to Astral Doorway. This is a new channel, and the primary purpose of this channel is to encourage and help others to astral project. Astral projection, or out of body experiences, or near death experiences, or the same thing essentially, by the way, uh, is very briefly the ability for your consciousness, or in other words, your awareness, to consciously travel outside of your body and not be limited by physical laws of time and space. These realms or planes of existence that we can go to are the same thing as where we go in the afterlife. And in these non-physical dimensions, you can travel anywhere and any time in the universe. This is an innate ability of all human beings. The only thing that qualifies you to do this is to have a physical body and that you're alive and kicking. Uh, if you have that, you can project. Now, there are those who see out-of-body experiences as only happening inside of the body. That's fine. To this, I say there really isn't that much difference because as you advance in refining your perception, you realize that everything outside of you is also within. Uh, you can read about a hermetic law that you may have heard of already called as above, so below. For example, when you look at others, you're ultimately looking at yourself in terms of the most refined and purest types of awareness or perception. Uh, this is a very advanced form of realization though and I think it's best to start with the basics. So for purposes of me explaining things, you know, I will usually just say that I am going on beyond my body because it's quite obvious that it also does happen outside of your body, uh, especially when you confirm this for yourself by going out into the astral, uh, say you go into another room and you see something there and then you wake up back in your physical body, you go to that location uh, to confirm that what you see was the same as what you saw in your out-of-body experiences. Uh, and I will share one of those experiences in the next episode. So, yes, my purpose here is to spread awareness about the beautiful reality and practice of astral projection, which is often right before our very eyes. Uh, but for some reason, it's not spoke about enough, even in most spiritual books, YouTube videos, uh, and communities. Uh, now, I know there are other spiritual practices people can do, such as clairvoyance, clairaudience, uh, psychic abilities, tarot cards. But astral projection is a cornerstone, a foundation to understanding all of these things. About understanding many things, about how many things in the universe work, in understanding the nature of nature, so to speak. And that comes with experience uh, after many experiences in the astral. And we will explore these things together. Uh, so astral projection is as natural as learning how to breathe properly. Really, it, it's just that astral projection is often seen as such an alien or difficult concept. And so when people give it a go for themselves, they usually give themselves a hard time and overthink the process, when in reality, it is quite simple. So uh, the name Astral Doorway, uh, the name of this channel, and the image that you see in the screen is symbolic of those who are looking at the door and those who have gone through the door. Those who are looking at the door are those the, are the ones who are speculating, questioning, debating, thinking, and feeling fear about the other side. Uh, but those who are on the opposite side of the doorway, those who have entered the doorway, uh, those are the ones who are practicing, doing the work, meditating, seriously, uh, working on themselves, 
Those are the ones who are having experiences, having self-realizations uh, and exploring whether certain realities are true or not, not through belief, not through speculation, but through direct experience. So this astral doorway is always open within us. And it really is as simple as making a conscious choice of stepping into that way of life, that way of awareness, stepping through the door, or in other words, stepping out of your body. We just need to guide our awareness in the correct way. You know, another reason a lot of people stay on the level of speculation is because they rely too much on what modern science says. You know, quote-unquote, modern science. Um, a group of people that you don't know who are doing tests and telling you things, and you believe it, which is fine. And, I, you know, I believe a lot of science. I, I love science. I'm not against science at all. In fact, I can't wait for it to catch up on non-physical research. Uh, because in relative terms, modern science is still largely in a Stone Age era compared to what is discoverable in this universe, in this phenomena of existence. So yeah, I look forward to the advancements of science. Uh, but in the meantime... It's important and it's time to take these matters into our own hands and become our own pioneers of consciousness and make discoveries for ourselves directly. So yeah, uh, this part of uh, the work that I'm doing is because frankly I'm tired of living in a world where nobody gives the slightest damn even about their dreams and uh, never mind astral projection or lucid dreams and i'm sure you feel the same way uh, but uh, lucid dreaming and astral projection is slowly peering into mainstream consciousness and we'll see where we go with that in the years to come so yeah this is slowly becoming my life's work, and I plan to do a lot of podcast-style videos here talking about my astral projection experiences, how you can do it yourself, understanding the process in depth, and how it applies to our waking experience, and much more. I've had a, over 10 years of experience, almost 11 years now, and I know I have much more to come, so I think this is a great place for me to report back my future experiences uh, here, particularly the more interesting ones. Uh, Ten years may not seem like a lot, uh, but in those years I can guarantee I've spent consecutive days, weeks amounting to many months, devoted like a monk entirely to meditation and astral projection and in that time I've learned a lot of things and I'd like to think I've gained a lot of wisdom in my discernments and understanding which hopefully all of you who like the videos will benefit from greatly I hope and I do my best to present my ideas in a grounded and objective way so yes for the past 10 years i've been having these experiences it's only up until recently that i have felt a call to help others uh, which i think is natural for most astral projection teachers uh, to eventually feel that need to help and you know in teaching uh, i also find that i gain some wisdom for myself also so yeah i found the astral projection subreddit back in November 2020 and when I found it I was really surprised and happy to see that there was a group of almost 200,000 members uh, but at the same time I was also sad to see a lot of posts being made there uh, with little or questionable answers being made from people who are clearly not that experienced in astral projection. Uh, you know when someone's experiencing astral projection because you develop a sense of knowing whether people are legit or not. 
uh, from your own experience. So yeah, I've been helping there a lot. Uh, I've made numerous posts and probably answered easily over 1,000 questions there and have also become a moderator there quite recently too. My username on there is gene-1, G-E-N-E-1, uh, if you'd like to see my posts and comments there. The only downside for me is that writing up all these answers online and staring in the screen of Reddit uh, can be quite tiresome. Uh, and you can write paragraphs for someone, but then you never really know how they're going to read it either. So I thought this would be a more enjoyable and human way, a more personable way to give my answers and insights for all the questions I receive quite regularly. Uh, it's also been suggested that I make YouTube videos for some time, so thank you to those who suggested that to me. I also have a website, which I will link below, uh, multidimensionaljournal.com, where I've written some of my experiences and also included a sort of mini book version guide on astral projection tips that's got a lot of encouraging feedback from Reddit users, uh, which eventually inspired me to write a book, which I will be publishing next month on Amazon, if I can meet the deadline for that. Uh, you can pre-order it now if you like. Uh, just search Beyond Dreaming by Gene Hart. Uh, my last name is Hart, H-A-R-T. Uh, and if you liked my online guide, the seven tips for astral projection, that is basically a preview to the book. So if you liked the guide, you should love the book. I'm also the owner of a wonderful Discord community called Astral Lounge, uh, which has really become an intimate, friendly, and respectable place for like-minded individuals who are interested in astral projection to come together and hang out either in text or voice chat, uh, which is really what a lot of us are missing on this path. Friends who understand, or at least intuit, the reality of the astral plane. I will leave a link below for that too. If you would like to join, I'm also on there. And I've had the pleasure also of hosting events on there, on the Discord, with other famous astral projectors such as Ryan Cropper and Bob Peterson. So I hope if you're interested in astral projection that you will stay around. Uh, you know, just the other night I was in the astral teaching a class of around 15 people who I suspect weren't conscious that they were out of body. And by the end of it, there were only a few left. Now, if this was the physical, I suspect most people would have stayed in the class until the end. Uh, but the astral is a little different in the sense that once someone's attention is wavered, then they'll probably just go somewhere else. And when I noticed so many people leaving, I went out and tried to convince them to come back. Uh, but uh, they weren't interested in the topic of astral projection, really. Uh, they were just socializing with each other, texting on their phones, etc. And uh, then when I turned around and realized I had left a few students who were still interested, uh, I felt bad. And I, I felt bad that I had left them as well. Uh, so I went back of course, uh, and carried on the class. Uh, but I realized in a direct way that it's useless to try and convince people about this topic. They have to do it for themselves. So that was a little lesson for me as well. This is also reflective of how astral projection still has a big lack of interest in the collective. But that's why we're here. We want to change that and start to value and spread awareness of this wonderful ability that anyone can do, uh, which I also suspect humanity naturally had a long time ago. Uh, the astral projection practice is essentially a practice of remembering in this sense. I've also made a Patreon, a simple Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And I've, as I've said, I'm a moderator of the Astral Projection Reddit, 
owner of the Astro Lounge Discord. I'm writing a book. I have a blog. So if you enjoy all those things, uh, feel free to support me because of that too. But I'd like the primary reason for support to be because of this Astral Projection Doorway channel. And hopefully together we can create some helpful weekly videos here and really get answering your questions, hopefully in a very effective and grounded way so that we can get as many of you as possible out on the astral plane. And hopefully all my jibber jabbering can do that. So if you have any questions, or requests for a video on a certain topic, uh, please ask below. I guarantee that I will answer every single one. And please hit subscribe, uh, hit the bell button so you know when I upload a new video. And I look forward to teaching you all, making more videos, and helping you all reach the astral plane. Thank you.